Hi, I'm Susie Jefferson and I'm thrilled to have been invited by Kay and Graham of Blade Rubber Stamps to come and talk to you today all about what I know about scrapbooking. Digital scrapbooking, um, a few of the sites, a few of the programs, a few of the forums, basically everything you need to know to start digital scrapbooking. So reading glasses on or computer glasses and let's get going. Right, if you've never used a digital program, um, there are several that you can download. Uh, www.smilebox.com is a free one. You can download that straight to your C drive and, and use as normal. Photoscape.org is another one that you can also download and use. This one is brilliant for little things like sepia vignettes, different tricks and tips that you can do with it. It has a fantastic little thing with tutorials on. Uh, GIMP.org is very similar to Photoshop, but again, it's um, an open source, therefore a free program, and they actually also have tutorials online. Another one is Serif. Serif is a UK scrapbooking company, and if you go on to freeserifstoffware.com, they actually have a free version of their digital scrapbook artist. So you can get straight in there, and you can start playing with all their little tools and toys, the resizing, the fading, the blurring, different colours, funny photo effects. Um, all of the programmes will do that. You want it to look something like um, an oil painting, you can do it. If you want a black and white sketch, you can do it, and so on. Now, here's some more that you can actually put right up on your screen that you don't need to download. And, hang on a second, splashup.com. This one has a lot of tools similar to any digital program you may or may not be used to, and you can work with it right on your screen. www.photoshop.com tools has a new thing called a Photoshop Express Editor. Uh, to work with this, you simply tell it you want to work with something and it will offer to browse your C drive and it will take up a photo, put it right on the screen, run your cursor along the bottom for the different effects, down the side you've got another screen panel telling you more effects and then if you want to save it, it pops it straight back into your My Pictures folder right directly onto your computer. It's magic. Also, picnic.com. This one, again, you can work with straight online. You can save it if you want. They have got a paid program if you want to be more sophisticated. If you don't, then just stick with the free online one and also lunapic.com. Now, there's some more free online editors these also have storage for your photos online so that um, if you've got a clogged C drive or you want to share your photos with people, say overseas or in a different town, you can do this, you can email to them or they can access yours. And this is photobucket.com, uh, Picasa, which is in the Google family, and Flickr. This is owned by Yahoo. All of these you need to have an account for, all of them are free and all of them do have simple editing effects. Now also, I think you need to have some sites for ideas, layouts and tutorials. Photocollagesoftware.com has um, a free site for wedding scrapbook ideas, which is very useful. Shabbyprincess.com is another one, great tutorials, freebies, layouts you can look at, layouts you can even copy. Uh, two peas and a bucket.com and shimel.com and shimel also writes for scrapbooking magazine forums and again more tutorials digiscrapaddicts.com scrapgirls.com studioscraps.com and two peas in a bucket.com i think if you get online with any of these bookmark these sites and i think you'll be up and running in no time whatsoever have fun with your digital scrapbooking <laughs>